it's that time. The video I've been promising for over a week now that is far behind schedule, but we're going to pretend like it's on time. And here we go. Hey, what's going on, geeks? Max of the Beast is here. And welcome to my 40th subscriber special. My 40th subscriber milestone. This is absolutely incredible. I I have a couple things I want to say before I actually get to the point. I promise they won't take long. First and foremost is a much needed word of thanks to everybody who supported me over the last almost two years I've done YouTube. Holy crap, it is not... It, it feels like I've been doing this not very long. These two years have flown. And again, there's going to be another video for that some other time. But where I'm actually going with this is I want to say thank you for all your support. I know a lot of YouTubers say this, and I don't want to sound copy-paste pretty much, but I mean this as non-cliche as possible, okay? I am truly grateful and incredibly humbled by all your support. It, every like, every view, every comment means so much to me as a person. And until you actually make videos for yourself and grow your own community, you might not understand what, what I'm talking about or how I feel. But I mean this as legitimate as possible. I'm super thankful for each and every one of you. It's hard to form words right now. I, honestly, you know, th the first day I made my channel, I started uploading videos to it. You know, I wanted to get somewhere, but I didn't expect popularity. I still recorded videos. For the first several months I recorded videos, I had zero subscribers. And, you know, I might talk more about my the start of it down the pike but I, I'm super thankful for every one of y'all thank you all 40 of y'all who have taken the time out of your lives to push the subscribe button on my YouTube channel it means so much to me Thank you. Thank you so much. Up next is a few minutes of me rambling on about how sorry I am for the super delayed upload of this video. I did not want this video to be coming out as late as it did. I wanted to be out last weekend, but that obviously did not happen. Our internet, I've complained several times in the past that my internet is the worst internet in the history of bad Wi-Fi. But it, in the last couple weeks, it's given us more grief than it ever has before, where it's just absolutely just shut down. For pretty much the entirety of the week, I'm just now getting it back. And here we are, end of this week, and the deadline for this video is a week overdue. I did not mean for it to be out this late. It just kind of happened. But just know it wasn't intentional. I did not forget, nor did I neglect to. It's because the freaking internet is literal trash. And it just a absolutely just died on us. We had it fixed. That's a topic for another, t for another time. Alright, enough rambling on. Let's get to the point. Today, in celebration of my 40 subscriber milestone, brace yourself guys, this is going to be a very long video, 
I am going to try to change things up a bit. You know, typically for a big milestone, somebody will like do a face reveal or something crazy. Well, I'm not going to do a face reveal, obviously. And, you know, honestly, I don't have any other special video plans like everybody else does, and, and nor do I want to be a copy-paste. But, what I decided to do, what I thought would be a bit interesting, and definitely something a bit outside the box, would be, I'm going to be reading, you guys, a, a fair bit of my own journal. My old journal, I should say. I don't use this thing anymore. I started writing in this thing when I was in the second grade. It's been years since I wrote this thing. So he, we're gonna we're gonna read this thing. It's gonna take me a bit to decipher my handwriting. I unfortunately will not be able to display it on the screen, but I have it here in my hands right now. Very capable of reading it. So this could this can only be good. I'm I'm trying to stay optimistic, but this is probably going to be more cringeworthy on my part. Hopefully, y'all find it entertaining. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Dear journal, spelled J U R N L E. Here I am. My my pre up was good. Tears day. I had my surgery. I, I'm not kidding. That's how I spell Thursday. Tears day. And, and surgery is Sir, no, Sir Gray. <laughs> Sir Gray. Okay, a bit of a backstory. When I was in second grade, I had my tonsils taken out. I think I mentioned this in a previous video. But I, this is right before, or no, right after I had my surgery. It is 8.59 and now 9 o'clock. I got a new toy. It roars in its little ball around the room. It's now 9.02. It's now 9.03. Why am I doing this whole time lapse? or ti Not time lapse, time log thing. Top 10 questions science scientists still can't answer. My hamster toy, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Something about, oh, it's still running. Okay, I had like I-S-S-T-I-I-I-L. Like, like, honestly, that's not even English anymore. That, that, that doesn't make any, okay, whatever. 905-906. I still don't get why I'm doing the whole time log. It's not adding anything to the entry. My toy is stuck on my boxes of toys. Dang, I, I'm flexing on all y'all. I have boxes of toys. Y'all better dang well be jealous. The toy is still stuck. Nino scratched out. I'm assuming that says 909. Math is fun. Math is fun. Not, okay, I'm not going to be bashing on anybody who, let's say, actually, legitimately, for whatever reason, enjoys math. Okay, I guess I just kind of indirectly did. But still. I, I, I'm not a fan of math, okay? That, that's just something that... Uh, no. Also, I don't know which is worse, my awful spelling or my awful edits here in the Fortnite gameplay. Good lord. Alright. Let's see what's over here. My toys. Uh, again, guys, I'm flexing on all y'all with my amazing toy collection. Alright? Y'all better dang well be jealous by the end of this video. I My toys. Alright, pr prepare yourself. Okay? 
prepare yourself. This is, this is gonna this is gonna make y'all super jealous. Y'all gonna wanna come over here right now and try to steal my toys like it's Bitcoin. Okay, whatever. I have a chicken toy. I have gun toys. I have gun. Be be prepared for absolute anarchy from Mother Russia. That was absolutely awful. I'm sorry. I have animal toe. Uh, pardon what? I have animal toes. What the frick? <laughs> no, literally, it's like T O E S. What the frick? I, I I don't want to know what I mean by that. I I don't. That it's freaking disgusting. That's absolutely nasty. Let's see. <laughs> okay. Okay. This was this one's titled Supper. Alright. And here's a little bit of a backstory with this. Okay, the first line says, First I get my and then it's a bunch of scratch mark, but upon looking closer, it looks like I first wrote butt. But then I scratched it out and wrote bottom over top of it, but then I just scratched that out too. Apparently, I remember, when I was in second grade, I was not allowed to say the word butt. I thought it was, my family thought it was vulgar and nasty, so I wasn't allowed to use it. So, because of that, I regretted my decision of writing butt. So I, I scratched it out and wrote bottom in place of it, but you can still see, well, but, through all of that, so it, it's not like it really made a difference. See. Then we eat. Last guy ask, you know, it's like literally Lask. Lask, I ask to be excused. At least I spelled that right. Let's see what's over here. Let's see. Oh! Oh my lord, that voice crack. <laughs> but that's kind of cool. Alright, so I had this. The local paper was doing something to celebrate May the 4th, right? I don't remember what they were doing, but for whatever reason, they had a picture of Luke, Leia, and Han from A New Hope in the paper so we cut it out and I pasted it into my journal here so that's kinda cool I kinda found that there's a little caption saying this is a picture of Star Wars A New Hope that's pretty cool and this is also considering I'm still a huge Star Wars nerd good lord uh, okay dear Janelle <laughs> dear Janelle I, I I kid you not, that's how it's spelled. Dear J-E-N-A-L-E. -E. Title, The Dog. The dog is so cute. It is a taze. <laughs> okay. I'm sure I meant Taz, considering how you refer to my old dog as the Tasmanian Devil. Like, not just the animal, but kind of like out of Looney Tunes. You know? That's kind of what we referred to our old dog as, because she was absolutely out of control. Alright, moving on. Oh, an another thing about supper. Okay, this one's called Fixing Supper. So, alright, all right, y'all get your pens, papers, pen, paper, and whatever else y'all need. We're doing a culinary arts course real quick. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> here, here, here's how supper's supposed to work. Alright, mom puts taters on and when I say taters I mean potatoes if y'all don't know what a tater is she makes Ted pet on bois what is t who is Ted I, I know good well that's not my dad's name I, I think we need to have some kind of like I think mom and I need to have some kind of like talk about who the frick Ted is Seriously, that's that's not cool. Who's Ted? Alright, alright, Ted aside. 
We have a teapot. That's all that's important. Frick Ted. Frick whoever he is. I have a frickin' teapot. Be jealous. Envy me. All right, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen. Non-binary, whatever you want to call yourself. Today, we're going to have a little bit of a story time. Gather around, guys. Because we're about to read some freaking weird Pokemon fan fiction written by second grade year old me. <laughs> Alright. Y'all got your popcorn, your comfortable blanket, your sweatpants. Y'all ready to go? Alright. It was a fine day in town. At Max's home, Things were bad, though. It seemed that his Mewtwo was gone. He asked his Mew if he knew where Mewtwo was. Mew shook his head. He said, Mew, 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 and pointed at Team Rocket's plane. Since when did Team Rocket have a frickin' plane? O okay. We're, we're taking some creative liberties here. By giving Team Rocket a frickin' fighter jet. Max ran to the plane. He ran inside it. Max saw Mewtwo being hurt by Team Rocket. Oh no. Max said, Mew, I choose you? Why is there a question mark? <laughs> Mew flew in the plane. <laughs> Just then, Team Who came? <laughs> Okay, Team Somebody came. They chose. They chose us, Arbok and Wezzing. I, I'm sure that's supposed to say Weezing, but it's spelled horribly wrong. Max said, "Mew, flamethrower." <laughs> no punctuation at all. Just Mew, Mew, flamethrower. I'm just picturing myself. Holding Mew like a freaking flamethrower. <laughs> the attack hit the choking machine. No. The choking Meashain. Me E A C H I I N E. That's the worst spelling of machine I think I've ever seen. And, and I thought Janelle was bad. The Miyashiane blew up. They got out just in time. Who? Who's they? Mewtwo? Me? Mew? Team Rocket? Who's they? Except Team Rocket. Okay, Team Rocket's dead. Team Rocket said, Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. Max was happy to have his Mewtwo back. The end. Man. I bet y'all are super thrilled and super incredibly relieved that Mewtwo did not get blown up in frickin' terrorist attack. I, I bet y'all happy that frickin' Pokemon robbers didn't choke Mewtwo to death. Nor did the Meshiane blow him up. There's another one. Okay. Here we go. My Palkia rescue? <laughs> okay. How does a freaking giant dragon need rescue? <laughs> it can break space time, right? It does not need freaking Spider Man to show up. <laughs> Alright, whatever. It was. <laughs> Excuse me. What? It was ho good. <laughs> I apologize. It was. Ho oh, good at Max's house. Max's Palkia was missing. He asked Mewtwo. Okay, Mewtwo's still alive. If he knew where it was. <laughs> Why would the freaking Mewtwo know where Palkia is? I, it's not like they have a like Google map saying, Okay, Palkia is freaking in, in Afghanistan right now. <laughs> and, and we have Dialga in Antarctica. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, Celebi is just chilling out in Brazil getting drunk. At a freaking bar or something. Mewtwo said he's in Team Plasma's balloon. 
Spelled B L O O N. Bloon. I I'm almost positive that's not how you spell balloon, but you you know this is coming from somebody who constantly misspells stuff in descriptions. So I mean, it's not like I'm any better now. Max got in the ballon. Okay, I spelled it differently this time. It's B O L L O N. Which is honestly kind of closer to what it's supposed to be, but still not there yet. He saw Palkia about to be poison stinked. I think the proper term of that is poison stung. Uh, don't hold me accountable to that. I'm not. I'm not a Pokemon expert. He said, "Mewtwo, go!" Once again, I'm questioning myself. It's Mewtwo, go, go. Not Mewtwo Go or Go Mewtwo. It's Mewtwo Go. <laughs> Mewtwo flew inside. Cause now we're playing by the freaking Avengers law that they can hear each other across the country if they scream hard, loud enough. Mewtwo said, "I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use Psychic Ball." I'm sorry, no caller ID. I don't know who the frick you are. If you're freaking scammer or whoever you are but you're interrupting my amazing journal reading so frick you call back never okay sorry I just got called by a sniper or stalker or maybe even both to be honest I don't know this guy's life anyway Mewtwo said I'm gonna use psychic ball the ball smashed a hole in the top they got out once again who's they <laughs> Except Team Plasma. They said, we're blasting all f uh, I had like five extra Fs here. Because like, I thought that's how you like wrote. Like, you know, in the show, they're like, we're blasting off again. I thought that's how you wrote that with just extra Fs. Which is obviously not the freaking case. The end. Okay, so there's no freaking... Oh, nope, there is another fan fiction. Great, and it's once again about Pokemon. What is this journal? I got a new Pikachu. It was at school. I graved it. It is cute and strong. Strong for Mother Russia. And I write Pikachu and Max at the bottom here. New ship name, guys. Actually, no. Please don't. I'd rather y'all... Freaking... Listen to some cringy Fortnite rap. Than... Do that. Okay? Don't ship me with the freaking Pikachu. Remember how earlier I mentioned I was a huge Star Wars nerd? Well, here's a little something I wrote about me wanting to have General Frickin' Grievous as my brother. Okay. Frickin' Jedi Hunter, bro, man. And I didn't even, I didn't have the decency to spell Grievous right. It was Jirives. Jirives. My brother. I, I kind of marked out the R for whatever reason. Drives eats car oil. He ate car oil on top of toast. We go to school together. Tonight's homework for Drivies, it's spelled even worse here, is Division. I'm sure I meant Division, but that's not how you spell Division. I'm going to help him. Bye. That's like literally it. Just, I'm going to help him. Bye. And that, that's it. That's just the freaking ending for that. That's, that's good stuff. Alright. More Jerovies. Oh! I wrote this in 2014? Okay. I stopped here because I had to go to bed when this entry was made. I have no brother or sister. It is just me. That's That's true. See, I'm also reading the book Jedi Academy. Also, I finished the book Smells Like Dog. It was a great book about treasure. 
Okay. And, and then it just abruptly ends. Hold up. There's this thing over here where I have it written out in freaking crayon. Dear Jornal. With an E at the end to make it fancy. I am here now. Oh, oh, key. The Deary of Max movie has not been well. It. I'm not even gonna try that. Gotten weirdo. I've learned to make this noise by putting my front teeth on my lip and blow. It makes a V sound. I'm not even gonna try to replicate it because I don't think I can. And I think I'd make an absolute fool out of myself if I tried. Okay. The end of story! Wow. That went from 0 to 100 real fast. From me making strange noises with my mouth to... It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. It's over. But... Oh, the Deary of Max movie. When I was younger... I had this obsession with recording stuff on the family's video camera and I wanted to make I was a big fan of at the time the Diary of a Wimpy Kid movies and I just saw more like the books but I just saw the first movie so I wanted to replicate that by making my own version which honestly was wasn't even telling a story. It was just me sitting in front of a camera talking about who knows what. Kind of what I do now, just with a little bit more meaning behind it, I guess. So this old. Oh, this is like. Okay, empty page here, but there's a note on it. 2014 note. There is way too many mistakes with the last couple of entries that I would not make today. In parentheses, hopefully. <laughs> I used to write huge. Now I have learned how to write smaller. Oh well. I hope that I do well in math tomorrow. <laughs> I also hope that I can have fun on vacation. I have tons of U.S. history worksheets that I have to work on while I am gone. Okay. <laughs> Good to know, past me, I genu genuinely cared about your frickin' history homework. What else is- what the frick is this? I wish I could show you what I'm looking at right now, but I'm- I, I can't. So I'm gonna do the best I can to put into words what I am beholding right now. So, for whatever reason, I decided that I was going to take my best attempt. I've done fan fiction. Now let's do fan art. I drew, some, I drew something called Battle, right? And it's a freaking tower with some dude with a handgun shooting it. And the tower is now nothing but scratches with somebody at the top with a spear in his hands. There's a... Oh, there's a speech bubble saying, I will get you next time, gutter man. <laughs> like some freaking superhero-esque stuff from a cartoon in the 60s. Like, seriously, that's that's kind of... Wow. Uh, okay, whatever. Uh, oh, there's more. This one's titled A Pokemon Battle, where it has, like, a Pokemon stadium like you'd see... If you ever played the Pokemon Battle Revolution game on the Wii, that's kind of what this looks like. That's kind of what the stadium kind of sort of reminds me of. What the stadium looked like. Just a big circle on the ground with a Pokeball symbol in the middle of it. And with a bunch of strange drawings that look like freaking demons in the middle of it. I, I honestly have no clue what the frick it is. Alright. A Pokeball. Pokeball. And it's quite literally a Pokeball. What'd you expect, Sportaflop? Rest in peace, Robbie Rotten. I... Okay, this is even more confusing than the battle one. 
Because at least with the tower thing, I can kind of sort of put together what's going on. But with this, it's just literally swirls. Like, you know, you put a pencil tip down and you just like... Uh, swirl it around on a piece of paper or something and it does like a... It does swirls and stuff on the piece of paper. That's kind of what this is. It's weird. My birthday, peasants! I, I'm not kidding. It literally says peasants. Monster Mayhem Wii. Pokemon White DS. Table table recorder. I'm sure I meant tape. But if that's a P that does not look like a P that looks like a freaking D. Computer. What? Oh, it's computer hyphen printer. And, and Zoobles. Does anybody here remember what Zoobles were? Well, in case you don't, they're kind of like Bakugan, except they're more meant to be kind of like My Little Pony type thing, or like Barbies where you customize them and build houses and get houses and stuff for them and take care of them and whatever. Now, I was never really into like My Little Pony or whatever, but I was into Bakugan and I legit thought that these were just like a different version of Bakugan. So... That's why I have though. That's why I got those, and I don't think I used to have this big bag of Bakugan toys. I don't know if I still have that somewhere or not. You know, it might be worth actually looking into it, and just like looking around my house and see if by any chance like it's in an attic or something. Cause that'd be kind of cool to find like my old Bakugan toys. I mean, honestly, I'm not. I'm not even. I'm not even kidding. I, I'm gonna look for that. Capo. Don't ask what this is. I don't know. Capo is a game I invented. You first. Capo set. I, I sorry. I do what now? I first s. Capo set. Uh, guys, can you understand what that means? Uh, if you can, please decipher it in the comments below. Because, honestly, I'm clueless. Then you say, Capo Loaded. And at last, you say, Capo Lanch. There's two N's. L-A-N-N-C-H. Lanch. What does that mean? Okay, I'm nearly sure I meant launch, but still... And then your enemy plays his capo or her. I, I I think I meant to say like his or her capo, but it came out his capo or her. Not being sexist, guys. They. Uh, 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 what is that? When you you capo is in play, it is an attack place. Attack place is so meth. Meth. I, I'm not even gonna guess what that means, cause honestly, when I see meth, I think of the drug that your capo uses to attack the enemy. Oh, it's something. I thought it said it's so meth. No, it's something just horribly spaced. Oh my lord, that could have been weird. Please don't call the cops on me for freaking misspelling my own fictitious word. <laughs> well, something is not fictitious, but whatever. I'm tired. Then the two capo start fighting. They are normal attacks. What are normal attacks? They, uh, once again, they. <laughs> normal attacks are attacks are things that your capo does. Attacks can go up to ultra attacker. Uh, I don't know what that means, but it sounds pretty okay, so we're gonna go with it. Talk now if the enemy's capo is defeated. Oh, t uh, I don't, I think, I, that, I'm, I swear that says talk now. 
you see it show its weak spot. How do you know if it has a weak spot? How do you know what its weak spot is? All right, whatever. www.beybladebattles.com Oh, I was in a huge Beyblade cringe. Cringe. Craze back in the day. Like, literally, that was my life. And I was a big fan of the online website Beyblade Battles. It was where you could play Beyblade online with other people or bots. You get to customize your Beyblade and do all sorts of stuff that, that like they were doing the TV show. It was a it was a really cool site, and apparently I decided to write about it. In, in fact, I might actually look it up someday and see if I can find it. And if I and if I can, I'll make a video on it. Beyblade Battles is a website where you battle with Beyblade. You have a place in your account if you make one. You have you have a Bay Locker. You see your avatar stats, Beyblade, and more in the battle. Okay. In Battle Live, you get to battle people from across the world. Find your inner blader today and and battle online today. <laughs> I said today twice, but hey, hey Beyblade Battles, if y'all are still a thing, um, if y'all need a spokesperson to advertise your product, I, I'm available. Uh, all I ask is that I just uh, get paid a little bit because I'm honestly very short on cash. Thanks. Means a lot. Thanks, Beyblade Battles. In all seriousness, this the ending is kind of like what you would see in a commercial, like "Oh, find your inner whatever today at BeybladeBattles.com," and if you order now, I'll throw in a second Beyblade absolutely free. Call today, or else that's gonna be a lot of damage that not even flex tape could fix. Or even flex seal. You don't know how bad things are until you see it firsthand. This one's titled My Life. Hey! It's been a while. I have been playing Minecraft a lot since 1.6 has come out. I am writing with crayon because my pens won't write and my pencils are all out of lead and our sharpener is broken and takes way too long to use. I can actually understand what I'm saying and I'm writing in friggin crayon this has to be the future now because it's actually somewhat legible but it's understandable holy crap we're actually making progress into some understandable grounds awesome minecraft no, I, I kid you not this next one is literally a minecraft story I guess you'd call it. I don't really know what you'd call it. Alright. Minecraft is a game with lots of blocks. It has two title screen modes. Single player and multiplayer. Single player you play by yourself. In single player you have an option to play worlds that you've already created. You can also make a new one. By clicking create new world you can make a brand new world. There are three game modes in the game. Survival, I thought it was going to be a list. In survival, you get to survive, craft, smelt, mine, eat, fight, and etc. And etc. Okay. Creative. In creative, you get to fly and you have unlimited stuff. Last game mode, hardcore. In hardcore, you have to survive. You have to survive. Unlike survival, if you die, you can't respawn. And you are forced to delete the world. In multiplayer, you get to, as I slowly turn the page, find cool servers and enter their IP addresses. Like that's a defining feature of a video game is being able to enter an IP address. Then I'm pretty sure back in that day, being able to connect to a server via IP address was something pretty cool. You can also play with other people in multiplayer. There's also texture packs. They allow you to change the look of Minecraft. In options, you get to change settings for your game. And that little speech bubble are different speeches to use. And I've just successfully gone over every major thing on the one at least 1.6 esque Minecraft 
title screen. You're welcome. You never even knew that you wanted that. Those interesting facts. Okay, so we have another drawing page. Somebody called Wheel Man. Oh, I was inspired by like to of like Tobuscus animations. All the Toby Games animations had like this expression where um somebody's eyes would turn to this big X. And that's what I kinda have here. Typically like in Toby's videos the character would be screaming "Wee!" or something while his eyes are doing that. So that kind of makes sense. There's another Wii esque man. Oh, and there's a drawing of me, which actually doesn't look terrible. I mean, it's not good, but it's not that awful either. I mean, I probably couldn't do as good of a job as I did here now. And here's a creeper. Straight out of Minecraft, which actually looks pretty okay. Granted, the legs are a little bit out of line, but you know, to be honest, for somebody who doesn't really do art all that well, it's freaking progress that I can actually make something interpretable. Alright, let's see what's next. Another entry called Old Book. This book has been used since I was in second grade. Wow, it has been a very long time. Who me? Super old book. We got two old book um, titles right beside each other. Wow. I have just thought back to the time I got this book. It's been a long while. Today is March 2nd, two days before my B-Day. I have been playing Starbound in the occasional Minecraft video. Okay. My family used to play Minecraft together. Oh, yeah! We used to do something called Minecraft Nights, where, like, once a week, we'd all get together and play Minecraft on our iPads or tablets or computers or whatever we had. Oh, those are kind of, those are kind of fun days, but... Unfortunately, we only did, like, three... Cool, huh? That's like literally what this book says. I have been to see... Who now? Uh, while my spelling's better, my handwriting's still a mess. It was grand. Uh, good. Gotta go to bed. Write more soon. And here's another attempted at art. This is like a hillside with plants growing on it with strange looking clouds floating around lateness yay today's my birthday I have had a whole lot of fun today I made the eye wrong what did I do I'm writing a sharpie because sharpie markers are so cool true that I have gotten Paper Mario, The Jungle Book. I, I honest to gosh, after the awful misspells previously thought that I was attempting to spell journal again. And I'm like, have I seriously not learned at all since I was in like second grade on how to spell the word journal? But no, but it says jungle, which is forgivable because jungle and journals are two different things. A light up lightsaber. Cash and the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess for the Wii. Cool stuff. Zelda! Twilight Princess Swords. Wooden, and I have like drawings of each. It starts off with a wooden sword, then the Ordon sword, and then the Master Sword. And the Triforce of Courage. Villain Ganondorf and Zant. And for a while, Minda's kind of weird. Zelda Ocarina of Time Swords. Kakiri, Master, Big Goron. And I kind of forgot the giant's knife, too. Triforce of Courage. Villain, Ganondorf, slash Ganon. Cool. 
Zelda Link Between World Swords. Lost Master Sword and Enchanted Master Sword. Once again, the Triforce of Courage. Villain Yuga plus Ganon Beast equals Yuga Beast. Yeah, guys, Yuda Beast. Oh no! This one's simply titled Sad Day. This is one of the saddest days of my life. Our dog Praline has died. She was eaten up by cancer. A friend of mine came over five minutes to three. Tomorrow we leave to go to South Carolina for vacation. I am very sad about Praline dying. I wish she did not die. It is only a few days after my birthday. I hope we still have fun on vacation. Oh, that that broke me as a kid. That Praline's death broke me. As that was my childhood dog. Ever since I was born, I knew that dog. And then she got freaking mouth cancer and died. It was absolutely horrible. And we were taking her to the doctor to look at a potentially sprained ankle or sprained leg or something like that because she had like a strange limp going on and when they did like an x-ray they started picking up weird stuff in her mouth and then they opened her up to take a peek in, in, in person and the tumor was so bad they, they would have to remove like literally the entirety of her jaw to save her and that would ruin her quality of life so we thought it was the humane thing to do to put her down Oh, that just broke me as a kid because nobody was expecting it. I mean, it was honestly the freaking Spanish Inquisition. No one expected it. Oh, man. That's, that's some stuff right there. Alright, this one's titled Starbound, which is actually a cool, really cool game. I'd highly recommend you guys pick it up. Alright, I have played The Long Dark this morning along with Mountain Blade Warband and Overgrowth. All three of those are really good games. Steam games rock. Indeed they do, my brother. Indeed they do. I reread some of these older stories and have... What is that? What is that? I have reread some of these older stories and something on Hawk. Never mind, my spelling is absolutely not better. On, is that supposed to be how? I think it's supposed to be how. Long. Odd. That's what the word is. It's saying, I reread some of these older stories and and are and am odd on how long it has been since I got this book. Now, in modern day, it this book is almost out of paper. It was back in the year... I can't read my writing! I'm honestly getting frustrated right now. When I got this. I was in second grade. I am now in... Middle school. Okay. And then I... Marked out the next sentence. It's been a long while. Gotta go now. See ya. No punctuation. And next page is blank. The next page is blank. Okay. I think we're actually done here. I think we've covered everything we could physically cover with that. Okay. Well, this has definitely been a definitely been an, a unique experience. But I hope it's been a fun one for y'all. Cuz I know it sure as heck been a good one for me. It's been fun. And it's been definitely something new to do. Something that I haven't done before. But once again, I'd like to say thank you for all of your support on my videos. It means so much more than you could possibly know. But I do hope you enjoyed this one. I'm sorry once again for being out so freaking late. But beggars can't be choosers, unfortunately. Anyway, guys, thanks again so much for watching. And as always... Max of the Beast it is going to say I'm going to get back into a regular upload schedule here pretty soon. Don't worry about that. As always, Max of the Beast is out. <laughs>